Greetings to you all, my precious brethren. This is God the Creator talking to you heart to heart. Today I'm talking to you about you carry the glory of God in you. Let us go to the psalmist, Psalm 102, 16 and 18. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. And this shall be written for the generation yet to come. So the only thing that the true believer is yet to receive that should happen in the earth is the re- full redemption, the transformation or the glorification of his physical body, meaning that we're all going to put on a new body one day, but that body is going to come from heaven and the Bible tells us exactly when that will happen. In 1 Corinthians 15, 20, 52 and 53 it says in a moment in the twinkling of an eye we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorrupt incorruptible or incorruption however currently we carry in our earthly vessels the glory of Christ the apostle Paul calls it a treasure he says that we have this treasure in earthen vessels so that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. It's 2 Corinthians 4 and 7. Just imagine this, that the light of God is in you, dear one, in your spirit. You yourself are bearing the perfections of Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 and 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shone into our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus the Christ. 2 Corinthians 4 and 6 For you are truly the living tabernacle of God and Christ is alive in you right now. So why is this so important to every believer? It is because the church universal, the body of Christ, has transcended the babyhood stage and we're beginning to come to maturity come of age we're reading in our theme verse that when the Lord shall build up Zion which is a picture of his people then he shall appear in his glory and in this way it shall be written right up until the last generation and we are that last generation the last in gathering the generation that is called to manifest his glory on the earth. Wow. This is what the earth has been longing for. In Romans 8 and 19 said, The earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the mature sons of God. So we are in office. We have taken our place of dominion and we are beginning to impact our world with the glory of God, which is manifest presence seen in us, Christ in us, the hope of eternal glory. So as we can all confess this out as a public declaration before all men. So if you say after me, as I meditate on the word, as I meditate on the word, I am continually transfigured. I am continually transfigured. And not only do I walk in the glory of God, and not only do I walk in the glory of God, I am the glory of God. I am the glory of God. With this world, with sorry, with this glory, I impact my world today this glory I impact my world today changing hopeless situations changing hopeless situations and shining ever so brightly in this dark world and shining ever so brightly in this dark world I can never ever be defeated or put down or put under Never ever be defeated, put down, or put under. Hallelujah. John 17 and 22. 
out of God's speaking heart-to-heart version, says, And for myself, I have honoured my followers in the same way, with the same honour and the same glory that you, the Father, you Father, have honoured me with. I have made them great, the same way that you have made me great, the glory that you have given me, I have passed on to these believing ones with me. I have passed on to them the very same glory and the honour and the clearness which you have given to me in order that they may have the glorious unity of being one as we are one. Isaiah 60 and 1 to 2 says, Arise from the depression and the prostration prostration, in which the circumstances have kept you, the circumstances of life. Rise up to a new life and shine and be radiant with the glory of the Lord. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you, dear one. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and dense darkness all of the peoples. But the Lord shall arise upon you. You can put your own name in there. And his glory shall be seen on you, precious chosen one. So that's all for today. And I'll just check and see if there's one more verse. Yes, it's uh, 2 Corinthians 3. 2 Corinthians 3 and 18. So in the, <coughs> the literal version, uh, we with all unveiled faces continually uh, beholding or seeing as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, we are progressively being transformed into his image and likeness from one degree of glory even to even more higher degrees of glory which come from the Lord who is the Spirit. Another version says, Our faces are not covered. They show the bright glory of the Lord as the Lord's Spirit makes us more and more like our glorious Lord. All of us reflecting the Lord's glory with faces that are not covered with veils. We are being changed into his image with ever increasing glory. And this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit, the Lord's Spirit. The literal standard version says, And we all with unveiled face behold the glory of our Lord in a mirror. We are being daily transformed into that very same image and likeness from God's glory to a higher degree of glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord, the way mouth, and all of us with unveiled faces reflecting like bright mirrors, the glory of our Lord are being transformed in that very same likeness, from one degree of radiant holiness to another, even as derived from the Lord and the Spirit.